Hi YouTube friends, it's Kim from Mosaic Tiles Australia here. Today I'm going to show you how I've made this little dragonfly here, just out of stained glass and just the way we've cut it. Um, I have used a MDF substrate. So this is a 6mm and I've just sealed it with a mix of PVA and water, so 50-50, that's just my sealer and I've painted it on both sides. Um, and now we're going to just draw some little lines here just to kind of outline his wings just a guideline really to follow and his body perfect so I've used um, stained glass sticks which um, or st you can use stained glass tiles either or these just cut really nice and what I've done is I've cut these into just squares so all I've done is I've just cut them a little bit off each one these are probably maybe 10 mil wide roughly all depends how big your dragonfly is and you can always do this method for butterfly wings um, it can be used for quite a few things um, makes great little frog scales as well so it's just a good little cut to do so the idea is preparation. If you get all these cut ready to go, it's a lot um, faster to stick down. You then want to cut off, or make them a little bit smaller if you can, if you've got a smaller project. So all I'm doing now is I'm just going to cut off the four corners. So I don't want them to be perfect round. They're just a little nip off here. So see, it's still quite rough, but that's sort of what the look is what I want, is it to be a little bit raggy around the edges. So the idea is to do a whole lot of those, get them all ready, and then it's just a matter of sticking them down. Um, when at home, a good way to cut these is, which I'll be doing from now on, is in a plastic bag. This just keeps all your shards in one place because you do get quite a lot of few tiny little shards as well. So I would suggest popping it into the bag to cut and that way all your little bits will be contained in that bag right so we'll get a pile of those done and then I'll show you how we've done the body right I've got my little piles all ready to go as you can see they're all nicely munched up and I did happen to find some yummy little shimmer glass in these colours too so I've just cut some of those up into little pieces and I might just feather those through just um, sparingly, just a little hint of this colour. Um, so with the tail, I'm using Murano Blackberry Iridized and also plain Blackberry, uh, sorry, plain black. These are 15 millimetre tiles, so they just fit perfectly on here. So I'm going to start with the bottom one. I'm just going to take two little corners off each end and just sort of soften that point. Just a matter of just grinding the edge of it, just so it's not sharp points sticking out. So that's the sort of look I want to get like that there. And that'll be our first one. We'll pop our glue down. And then I'm just going to alternate with our black, plain black and iridescent. So no certain patterns. Some of them might have two plain black together or one blackberry. Um, we'll just see how it goes. Cutting in half. So it's always good to have these ready to go. And you can just stick them down straight away. A small gap between each one. Nice and close together, but just a very faint gap. Enough to get your grout in. Now, I do have to trim them a little bit as we are getting a little bit thinner through his tail. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit off the end. So 
Right, just go back and make sure they haven't moved. And that's our tail. I'm going to give them two eyes. I'm using 12 millimeters little glass Smarties. That's these ones here. And then I've cut one of these diagonally. That's the Murano Blackberry. And it's going to sit nicely in there. And we'll just fill in his top with a mix of the black and the Murano blackberry together. So I've got some that are square, some rectangle. We'll just fill in like that and it'll make his body look a little bit different. Let's have a closer look. So we'll just let them dry a little bit and we'll start the wings. Right, let's get the wings all started. I've just decided with this one here, I'm going to kind of mix all the blues and greens together. Where this one here, I've kind of done it like in a colour blocking sequence but yeah I do like blue and green together so we'll do this in a little bit differently um, right smear our glue on it's really handy having them all cut up it just is a lot quicker to do and you can just um, Stick them straight down, arrange them, and it doesn't, won't take long to do it all. It's mainly all the times done in the cutting. So if you can spend that time just pre-cutting, you'll be able to do these super fast. Right. I'm trying to keep the straight edges along the edge here. I've got our two wings done here. So I'm just going to show you the little scraps that I've managed to contain in my little plastic bag. So you imagine all of those if they were all over your floor at home. So definitely a plastic bag's handy when you're doing these little cuts. So I have been busy cutting up a few more little bits, much easier. And I probably used a total of 10 sticks to make each wing. And these are 150 mil by 15 and I've just cut those up with a few little tiny bits of goodies in there, just some nice shimmer mirror glass. Right, we'll carry on with our other two. Now I'm going to start working from this end back in. Right, now we continue on with the second one. 